All right, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow moves. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're healthy and safe. We're back, and we are going to continue with what seems to be the finale of the sacred cards. And then we're going to continue on with the pre the sequel, which is Rechef of Destruction, and it pretty much follows this game. So we're going to get this going, and we're going to see how far we can go. I think, from what I remember, we only have one or two duels left and then the game is over. So we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully we don't have to make much modifications. So here we go! Welcome to the Duel Tower! We shall now proceed with the semi-finals of the Battle City Tournament. Out of the four remaining duelists, only those two winning their respective matches in this tower will move on to the final duel atop the tower. Now, let us begin. Announcing the first semi-final matchup, Yugi Moto vs. Moo. Oh man, I gotta fight Yugi. Oh boy. Are you ready to duel? Uh... One of us has to go on and bring down Merrick Ishtar. For the sake of the souls taken by Merrick Ishtar. For the sake of our friends. Give it your all, Moo. Oh boy. Well, on the plus side, the field is dark and boosted. Which means I could summon my Lord of Dragons. Or I can test the waters with my light and see what happens. Okay, Shadow. And he used Monster Reborn to bring back my monster. Okay, weak cards, parts of Exodia, dark and light. Both of them are equally weak, so let's do this. Oh god, he used a tribute summon. Okay, light beats fiend. We gotta take out the strongest thing on the field and then start from there. Okay. Another fiend, Kumri Dragon. This will destroy anything with 3,000 attack points or less, so that's a wonderful protection we got there. Um, yeah, I'll summon the wolf. Alright, so far so good. Celtic Guardian. Nice. Alright, I got this card as well. This is one of the new ones that I put in. Yeah, I think we should be Gucci. Shadow beats light. No problem. Alright, we did it! Nice, the cards that I put in are perfect. 30 deck capacity, 70,000 domino, and I got Dark Magician! It costs 20, but I want to keep Red Eyes Black Dragon because it's cheaper. You're strong enough to beat Merrick Ishtar. Take this God Guard. Use it to defeat Merrick Ishtar. Woohoo! So now I can put Slifer in my deck as well. By the way, I still have not gotten Obelisk the Tormentor in my hand at all. Ever since I put it in my deck. Announcing the second semi-final matchup. Merrick Ishtar vs. Seto Kaiba. Oh, we all know how this is gonna go. I've been waiting for this. I will get the god cards. Just watch me. Merrick Ishtar. Let me prepare a stage worthy of us. Activate the solid vision system. Virtual stage. This is a duel with a god card at stake. The stage should be the Duelist Coliseum. This is so cool, big brother! <laughs> cute. Amusement for children. Merrick Ishtar, your god card might be special. 
but it will fall to my blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> Let's see you do it. But the god card will maroon you in the shadow realm, where your empty bravado will be meaningless. Quiet. I'll take you out. Count on it. And I will become the dual king. Yeah, but that's the way dragon of raw, buddy. W what? I... <laughs> so much for your big talk. You too shall suffer in the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Boop! Big brother! Yeah, well, you know. The final duel. Moo versus Merrick Ishtar. Bye. Okay, so yeah, I only had two duels left. So this will actually be a very tiny, tiny episode. <laughs> I might have to just add this to the other one, because I have all these episodes kind of pre-recorded. What a... Just let me go back to the other... Jesus. But yeah, it seems like I should just add this back. Now, since I'm going against the darkness... I don't think I need to swap out my deck that much because some of my monsters do also get the boost. But we'll see if it goes on a first try or not. Are you ready to duel? Yes. The end has finally arrived. In the world of Tomb Keepers. I grew in the Shadow Realm. There was darkness of eternity from which none escapes. My former self feared, loathed that darkness, but no longer. Darkness is my true love, and so the world shall be turned to darkness. All life shall experience the despair I tasted when you fall, and the Egyptian god cards become mine. This world shall be no longer. <laughs> Let the shadow duel begin. You know, I forgot to put Slifer in my deck. Oh well. I haven't even been able to draw Obelisk. What makes you think I'm gonna draw a Slifer? The music! This song is epic. Uh, I don't have a dream card. So hopefully he attacks me with that. Bistro Butcher, oh god. I need a dream card. I don't mind if I lose. Come on, give me a dream card. Oh boy, Legend. Yep, we're gonna have to make some adjustments. Would be nice if I draw Raigeki right here, but you know. Oh boy. Yeah. Hey, that's my card. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um I need to Yeah. Um, okay, uh... I need a couple of dream cards. Just a couple extra. 103, right? I need a 103 dream. Here we go. Did I buy any 103 dream cards? I have not.
gonna need a, two more dream cards and my Egyptian god card. Where is Slifer? Beautiful. Alright, if you gotta make more modifications it's fine, but it's basically gonna go down to luck of the draw. If I start off with my dream cards, I'm pretty much Gucci. We already went through this before. Okay, I started off with two lights, three light, a fiend, pretty strong, 1690, and a dream card. I want to start with this in defense mode and then activate. Ooh, this is good. I have Raigeki. Right, does he start with the same type? Okay, he used his ability, which means. Okay, he started the same way. Uh, I do have a dream card here. But I also have this. So now he can't sacrifice anything, but my Skalangle might die, but it's okay. Shadow again, nice. What do I got? Alright, I can use my white magical hat. I gotta keep him from sacrificing and I should be fine. From what I've seen, he doesn't have a light type, he just has fiend and dark. Oh god. Uh, but well, I gotta use my Raigeki now. That went horribly wrong. Did the effect backfire on me? What the fuck? I might have I might have misread something. Oh god, it powered up. But it's okay, it's a dark type. I have a dream card, I can destroy it. Okay, now all of a sudden I fixed everything and I'm back to normal. The monsters are a little weak. Uh, is it still dark type? Yes, he's still on dark types. Another dream type. I need a tribute summon. Because he might switch to Fiend at any moment. And speak of the devil, I do have a light monster. Part of Greed is perfect right now. Uh, 1400? No. We're gonna have to use this. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage, but I don't know, he keeps switching types. And he went back to Shadow, okay. Oh god. Okay, this can help me. Uh, hopefully just enough to where I can tribute summon my monster. One more turn. Oh my goodness. Okay, he did stuff. Oh, you're still a shadow though. Okay, one more turn. Oh. Okay. Victory! I didn't even need to use my god cards. This is the first time I have beaten the game without getting my god cards at all when drawing. Hilarious. That's a lot of money. The 
Godcart lost and wasn't even on the field. Why? How? I... The dark. All into darkness. Woohoo! I did it! Wow! <laughs> the evil and Merrick Ishtar dissipated. Moo, you did it. That's it, Moo. I'm glad. It's over. Me too. Can't wait to start the tougher journey. Joey! Uh... Huh? Yugi? Moo! You're really awake, Wheeler? What? What's wrong with you crying like that? You idiot. We were all freaked out and worried about you. You lost that shadow duel and you wouldn't wake up. Oh, that's what it was. I lost to Mary Kishtar. So, who won it all? Moo. He won the final duel against Merrick Ishtar. Oh yeah! Way to go, Moo! You must be back to normal to shout like that, Joey. Sure thing, I'm back as great as ever. We'll be reaching Domino soon. Get ready for disembarking. You betcha. How do you like that? Big attitude. Woo! I almost forgot, I had this to say. My big brother woke up. Thanks, Moo. You have done admirably, or admirably, Moo. Thanks to you, Merrick Ishtar has been thwarted from bringing his cruel design to fruition. Now, may I ask for re the return of the God Cards? No. Fine. I never got to use them. Why must I use them now? Thank you. I am grateful for all that you've done. The evil has departed from my brother's soul. We owe it all to your selfless sacrifice. I have been witness to it all. Your courage and your friendship. They shattered the evil from the Shadow Realm. We shall never again appear before you. Farewell, and thank you. Thank you, Moo. Bye! Hey, thanks! Really! You saved me, Moo and Yugi. Don't worry about it. We made it because we all worked hard together. Yeah, that's true. In spite of everything, it was great. I had fun competing with everyone. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Even the worst villains don't stand a chance. Not when we get involved. <laughs> that's going too far, Mr. Wheeler. <laughs> don't let it concern you, my friend. Anyway, the tournament's over now. So it's back to boring old school again. We can get together and play any time. We should duel then like, always, like we always do. Right, Joey and Moo? Yeah, sure enough, you can always play. It's not all ending today. Okay, see you at school. Yeah, alright, see you, Moo and Yugi. Yay! And yeah, we pretty much covered this game. It's a very short playthrough because, you know, when you know what you're doing, it kind of goes by faster, so it's a pretty short playthrough, but it's okay because the sequel of this game, Rechef of Destruction, is not gonna be that quick. It's literally Forbidden Memories type of difficulty where you have to farm and grind so much so much so that you can get a high amount of deck capacity so that you can get stronger monsters decent monsters in your deck to then fight people early on in the game like early on in the game it starts a little bit easy but then immediately the difficulty racks up and everybody just has strong level 4 monsters in your face and you're like oh 
I have 500 attack monsters. So yeah, it, it requires a lot of farming. I, I remember I've beaten this game only one time many, 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 many years ago when I first played it. Um, but I do not remember. I remember making it up until a certain point, but I actually don't remember if I ever beat this game because it got a little too much and then I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. But now, you know, since I played Forbidden Memories, I kind of got used to all that grinding and all that stuff, so I want to give it a try. I do remember a good amount of it in the early game, but after that I don't remember much. So we'll see how it goes. The end. But yeah, aside from that, we're gonna get that started right away. Because I'm recording all these episodes pretty much back to back in the same day. I just like having, you know, pre-recorded episodes. That way I can take my time with uploads and take care of other things that I need to take care of. So, yeah. That was it for the Sacred Cards. And next playthrough is going to be Reshef of Destruction. And it's not going to be that short. <laughs> I, I can I can guarantee that it's not gonna be a short playthrough, but I'm excited about it. It's it's a sequel, so it pretty much follows the sacred cards. Uh, what happens to the rare hunters after you beat Merrick, and what happens after that? And yeah, it's it's quite something. So hope you guys enjoyed this short little playthrough. It's one of my favorite games that I love going back to every once in a while. I love it, just like Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition. Love, love, love this game so much. It's so fun. The story is, you know, completely just perfectly following the actual anime, which I love more about it. So it, it makes you experience all of that as a player yourself, which is pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little short series, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye